You're watching 360 Rumors, my name is Mick. And today, I'm going to show you an accessory that will allow you to take 360 photos at 66 megapixels resolution, even at RAW. So I'm sure you've tried shooting a panorama with a smartphone, and you found that the stitching was not that great. So one solution to that is getting a 360 camera. And 360 cameras are, are very good for 360 photos and videos. But uh, sometimes you want a little more resolution. And the other issue is a parallax stitching error. It's a little harder to take 360 photos in small enclosed spaces such as in the, in the car interior. So the accessory I wanted to show you is the Pano 5 Plus 1 Mark II. So this is a panoramic head designed specifically for GoPro cameras. Using this accessory you can take a panoramic photo in as little as 8 shots and the resolution will be as high as 65 megapixels or even more. And if you use the Hero 5 Black, you can even take it in RAW. Here's the case for the Pano 5 Plus 1. It's an injection molded case. Very nice. Let's take a look inside. Here's the Pano 5 Plus 1. Here's the Nader shot holder. Now here's the tripod adapter. Besides usual tripods, you can also use it with sport bottles and water bottles. Here's the adapter for Hero 3 or Hero 4. The GoPro can be stored conveniently in the Panel 5 Plus 1. The case has compartments for extra batteries. So now let's try shooting with the Panel 5 Plus 1. I'm going to take a shot of the interior of this Porsche Macan and it's actually a very compact SUV so with really tight spaces it's a challenge for typical 360 cameras. Let's see how well we can do with the Panda 5 Plus 1. So now let's learn how to stitch the photos from the Pana 5 Plus 1. I've copied the files from the GoPro to my hard drive and I've launched this program called Panorama Studio 3 Pro. Uh, there are free programs also available such as Hugen. Now click on multi Row Panorama, click on import and then select the photos. Uh, from this view, if you want, you can also rotate them uh, by selecting all, Control A or select all and click on images and rotate. 
then click on parameters from here you can leave the settings in your default uh, they will be correct uh, 15 millimeters plus minus 30 percent full frame fish eye then under quality click on very high and click on ok then click on align to get a rough preview of what the um, stitched image will look like and here's the rough preview you can edit this further by clicking on edit and then click on edit mask what we're going to do is remove the stem from uh, the nadir shot holder so i i'm just dragging the mouse and it doesn't need to be very precise because there are other overlapping areas from the other lenses that will cover this and if you'd like you can also click on the middle now click on ok so then the stem is gone from the nigger shot holder you can also change the alignment by click on state straighten horizon then we can click on render it will tell you that the final image will be around 65 megapixels click ok and just wait so here's the stitched image and then click on save and you're done you can upload this to sites such as uh, Kula or Roundme so as you can see it's pretty easy to shoot with the Panda 5 plus 1 to see the actual 360 photo and to find out where to get the Panda 5 plus 1 please see the links in the description below thanks very much for watching and please subscribe